Hi everyone, Danielle here. I'm doing a solo playthrough of Unearth. I will be using a fan-made variant called the Lonely Delver, and I will put the link to this in the description below. It lives on BoardGameGeek.com, so uh, if you're interested in playing and seeing the rules, you'll see those. I'm going to do the setup and a uh, gameplay as well. So I wanted to start kind of from the beginning of the setup. You normally kind of see um, my game set up from the get-go, but I'll go ahead and just set it up in the video. So maybe if you wanted to, you could follow along. Okay, so I'm going to take a set of dice for myself. And then I'm going to also take a uh, D4, a red one, for the uh, AI. So I'll set that aside. So I won't be using red. I will be using uh, yellow, which is a color that I think stands out. So that's the set of dice I will use. And we'll put the rest back. I am just using the base game. Um, and then I will be showcasing the Lost Tribe expansion at a later time. Put this in here for now. We have a lot of these tokens which I will need to sort, so I'll probably give myself some time to do that. We have the Delver cards. We'll shuffle those up, set them aside for now. We have all of the stones, which are already in here, so the different colored stones that you'd be using in the game. And then we have some cards here. So for these cards, I will take out one of the reference cards for my use later. And then we have um, some of these, which I will be needing these no matter what, but then I'll be drawing three of these and putting it back in the box. So I'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three. Okay. And then as far as the ruin cards, which are these, these are the ruins. Actually, these are the, the age. Um, the ruined age? What is this called? I forget. The end of age deck. There's four cards, and so we'll be just drawing one and putting the rest in the, bat, in the, in, in the box. Okay, so that'll be here for now. These will be here. And then as far as the, the deck of the ruins, I'll shuffle those. And then in the solo mode, you will remove a total of ten. So go ahead and move ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And actually, is that right? Let me just double check the Lonely Delver. Lonely Delver. Um, no, I, I guess it would just be the five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm getting confused with the rules for the Lost Tribe, which has you do that. So I'll put this card that we set aside underneath, and that would be our Ruins deck. And uh, I will lay out these cards but I may need to just rearrange some things once this box is out of the way but now that you kind of see all the components we need to take out um, hopefully uh, that will make make more sense for you when you set up the game for yourself so I'll be back with a fully set up uh, table okay I do want to note that it does have in the rule book setting up a, play a two-player game so it says uh, remove ten ruins so I do need to remove five more one two, three, four, five. And when we reveal ruins, we do reveal four ruins. So um, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got this a bit set up so far. We just have to take out the stones. And in this mode of the, the Lonely Delver, we will place these in a row of some kind. I think this is fine. As long as we can determine leftmost. So left, left, like right modes, I guess, you know. One, two, one, two, one, two. And you're filling these stones because you see these numbers on the bottom right. So that's how many you take from the bag and place out. I found all of the tokens here or the tiles for each of these cards. The first three will be just one tile. The greater wonders and lesser wonders will be um, multiple tiles available to be to be drafted or, or taken. Um, at this point, we draw ourselves two Delver cards that we can use during the Delver phase. So I have Forgotten Song, choose a number, reroll all dice showing that number. Expedition, you may choose where to place your excavation roll after you roll. So th those are my uh, cards, which I'll place here. 
And then I will also gain one Ruins card. So I gain this one. And that can help at the end of the game. Because when you score, you can score depending on the type of the uh, Ruin you, you have. So um, I'll just kind of place that up here so that you can see how many points you get. So one of any color, you get two points. Two of the same, you get six. Three of the same, you get 12. Four of the same is 20. Five of the same is 30. And you have one of each, you have plus five points. And the wonders will give you points as well. So um, yeah, I think we can probably get started here. Um, I think so in a two player game, I don't know if the wonders change but basically is how many players you have plus one so that's why i do have the three specific uh specific wonders there all right all right so i think we'll go ahead and start we have the turn order here and so this tells us we have to start with the delver phase so first play any number of delver cards and resolve their effects immediately after each card play, check to see if any ruins have been claimed due to cards modifying dice on the board. A ruin is claimed when the total value of all dice on that ruin equals or exceeds its claim value. Declare which die you will roll and which specific ruin you will roll on. Roll that die and place it on the designated ruin. Collect the stone if you rolled a 1, 2, or 3. Check to see if the ruin you rolled on has been claimed. And then you pass the play. But it'll, it'll mostly just be me and the AI taking turns. Okay, so I will choose between one of these uh, yellow dice, which one I'll be rolling. And I think I'd like to try to get a lot of the red tiles. So I'm gonna try to get on this ruin. So I choose this one and I roll d6. I'll roll it into here actually. I got a five, which is unfortunate because you only get a stone from the ruin you, you roll on. Um, if you roll a one, two, or three. So I didn't get anything, but I do have uh, the likelihood of possibly getting this Ruin card or claiming it. So now in the Lonely, Lonely Delver, you rolled the D4 for them. And so one. So they will place it on the one and they will take the leftmost um, stone. So we'll just place it there and they start building a circle. It doesn't matter the patterns that they create. It's just they create the circle. They will get the leftmost token. And put it in the middle okay so next i will take this eight and well it's a d8 and i'll roll it on here again i got a six sounds good so that means these come back and i claim this card and these two go back into the bag we immediately refill it and we place the stones back on it okay that's our turn. Let's see what the AI will do. Roll the D4. I always find it so awkward rolling D4s, but we got a four. Okay, so on the fourth card, that's what the four is uh, basically telling us. Go to the left, uh, from left to right, number four. It's going to take this one. Um, what should I focus on here? I do want some, some uh, stones, so I'll go for this one. So one. So I grab one of these stones. Now I'll just start placing it somewhere. That goes there. There will the D4 again. The two. I grab the leftmost stone. Start working around. And here, I don't know. I mean, the yellows will be good for the Temple of Prosperity. Um, I'll roll a D8 here. I don't get any stones. My total sum is six right now. Okay. One. It's going here. It's going to take this last stone. Okay. Then I will roll a d6 and I'm going to choose this one. It's a six. I don't get to take a stone though. Roll the three. Take this one. They're almost done closing off this 
this little area. Roll a d6 onto here. It's a 6. So I don't get any stones, but I do claim this ruin. It's my second uh, blue one. Okay. Spread it over. Oh, day of rest. Each player draws three Delver cards uh, from the deck. One, two, three. Alright. So I have reading the stones, ancestral claim, and a new discovery. And I have to think about um, using these at some po point in the Delver phase. I've been kind of just going straight to excavation phase. Alright, so we have that. Let's see, okay. Let's bring out the stones. One, two, three. Okay. Alright, let's see what they roll. They rolled a one. So as you can see, there are no stones for them to take. Unfortunately, we had to take back our dice because they're claiming it. But we get two Delver cards because we had two dice on there. Okay. So they'll, they'll claim this. And I'll put it right here. Refilling this row. We'll place two stones out. And I really need to get some stones if I think I'm going to get any of these wonders. So I'm going to roll a uh, d4, and I'll roll it here. It's two, so I'll grab this yellow. They're going to roll. So one, I'll take this, and they completed their first wonder, then they will grab this one. So now I can't get that one. All right. I'm going to again roll here with the d6. Ah, it's a six, so I don't get any stones. Let's see what they get. A four. I'll grab this one, and they start a new formation here. And I'm going to look at my Delver cards. I can use as many as I would like. Just have to resolve them. Um, I will... Uh, I don't know if any of these are too helpful right now. I might want to roll just a more dice, and I'll say I'll roll it on this 15 again. It's a 3, so I do get to choose. I'll choose this yellow. Alright, so the total here is 8, 11, so not quite there yet. They roll the 2, which means they take this last stone. And then, uh, let's see. I'm going to roll here and try to clean this ruin. Oop, three. Did that work? Six plus six is 12, 13, 14. No, I'm one short. One short. I, I could have used a, a Delver card though, but I didn't. One. I'll take this. Okay. And then now for sure I will probably be able to claim that, but let me, let me see if I could just use this. Yeah, I'll use a new discovery, give plus two to any die already on a ruin, I'll give plus two to this to make it into a five, and that means I claim this card without taking my excavation phase yet. Draw that, the three stones out. One, two, three. Okay. So I think maybe I'll roll this D8 on the 17. Five. Not bad, not bad. Because um, it'd be nice to have more of the blues. Because, again, with the scoring, which I think is on the other side of this, if I get like three of a kind, I'll get 12 points. And, you know, if I get enough of the blues and keep going with it, It'll be worth it for me. Okay, three. Wow, they're literally collecting all the black tiles, black stones. All right, so I'm going to roll a d6 on the 17, but I am going to say that reading the stones will be played. Give the next die roll this turn plus one or minus one, so I'll do that. 
a one. So I'm going to make that a two. <laughs> That's seven already. And I will take a stone. I'll do this one. So I'm aiming for Temple Prosperity. So it would be really nice if I get at least uh, one more yellow. Okay, see what they do. Oh, a four. So it's empty here. They will claim it right away. That's what they'll do on their turn. They will draw two stones on that ruin. Two blues, okay. Alright, so for me, I'll roll a d6 onto the 17. The four. Don't do anything there. Um, a one. They will claim this ruin. And put three stones on there. One, two, three. Okay, would have been nice to see some yellow, but it's not going to happen. I'll roll d d6 onto here. What do I need? That's 9, 10, 11. I need a 6. So in that case, what should I do? Mm, maybe I'll use one of these. Restoration. Reroll all of your dice. I'm going to reroll all of these and see what happens. Alright, I think I got it. So that's 9 plus... F oh, wait, no. I was close. 16. That's not bad, though. Um, and then one... What else can I do here? The next d6, you may choose where... We roll on the dice showing that number. Yeah, I think I'm better off just rolling. I'll roll and go for this one. I got a one. That means I'll take a stone, I'll put it here. I really just need that one more yellow here. But I can always start another formation if I'm waiting for it. Okay, and I'll claim it. This goes back in the bag. Now I have my third blue card. Which I think is pretty good. All right. One, two. No yellows still. We'll see what they grab. A four. So they'll take this one. Okay. And for me, I don't even know. Um, might be good to just continue with this. In this row. So I'll roll a d6 on the nine area. It's a one. All right. So I have a red and I'll just can, uh, build something out here. Three, they claim this, which is not good. <laughs> and then put out three stones. One, two, three. There's the yellows, guys. Okay, so I think I will go here, and I'm going to say give the next die rolled this turn plus or minus one. I might have to give it minus one just to get a stone. Yes. So I think I'm good. But I think I have to do it. I don't think there's a choice. So I'll put it down to a two so it doesn't really impact anything. I still grab a stone and I've completed what I needed here, which is four yellows and two of any others. So this is the wonder I will be building here. Perfect. Okay. All right, we have a two. They're going to take this and they're going to complete their second little wonder here, the crumbling memorial so now i only have access to the greater wonders and lesser wonders all right so um and for the greater and lesser what do those actually require me to get so it says the wonder must be built within a ring from six of the same color this wonder may be built using any combination of stones. Oh, okay. So if I have all the six of the same colors, I could get greater. Any any six, it could be lesser. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, so I'm going to roll a d8 over here. And for that, I'm going to use the next d6 roll this turn. Ooh, d6. So maybe I have to roll a d6. Let's do a d6 then. Four. But nice. Okay, so mix it into a six, which is the highest it could have been. Cool. Um, we got a four. They'll start here, I think. Where should they start, actually? Um, did I double up on this by accident? Like, could it be like this? Yeah. Okay, so they should really have it this way, I think. I think I messed up there. But anyway, now, they would have to take one of these. So they're, they're making a lot of progress. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Um, I'm going to roll a d8 and I'm going to put it here. 
Actually, I don't think I need a D8 there. Let's see. I'll do I'll do expedition. You may choose where to place your excavation roll after your roll, so I'll roll it first. It's a three. Perfect. So I'll place it here and I'll claim this. Okay. Okay. And we're nearing the end of the game. This deck is almost done. We'll put out three stones. And I believe the game ends actually when the uh, all of the ruins are um, claimed. Yeah. Yep, that's how it works. Okay. Um, their turn. Three. I'm going to take this. And then... I roll a d4 on here. And actually, did I use this? I think I did. Okay. It's a two. I'll grab this. Third turn. I roll a four so they claim it. And then we take out two stones. One, two. I'll roll a d8. I roll a d8 here on the 15. It's a 3. I'll do grab a stone. And then they will also go here and grab this. And then I'm going to roll a d6 onto here. Um, you know, I'll use Forgotten Song. It says, choose a number, roll all dice. So I'm going to say two. I'm going to reroll both of these dice. Ugh, this is worse, but this got a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm going to choose to roll D6 on the 17. The three. I'll take this. And I completed a circle, which allows me to get a lesser wonder. Okay. We got four. Let's take this. Completed that. They always get um, the greater wonder over the lesser one. This is going to be a tough one, I think. Um, my last d6, I will put it on the 17. To four, which is not great because I don't even get a stone. And then they will roll the four again. Which I think is pretty common. I don't know. Common for them to get. And then I don't I ran out of dice, so in that case. Um, if all your dice are already on ruins and it's your turn, you must choose one of your dice currently on ruin and roll it on any ruin. Oh, okay. So I just take one. So I'll take a, a D eight and roll it on um, this one. A one. Alright, so I'll take this stone. Here and then they will roll a two. This is empty. I do get one Delver card because I had one die on it, so they claim this. And then final Delve. Okay, so we don't want this one. <laughs> um, okay, so my turn. I have to roll this d4. This says forlorn, give minus two to any one die already on a ruin. So I don't think I need to do that right now. All right, so one. Oh wait, I forgot to say which one I was gonna do, but it would have been this one because it's the only one that I could get stones on. Okay, and now it's their turn. Three. So I have two dice on that. They're gonna claim it. I'll get two Delver cards. And that's that. I don't want this one because you lose points. But oh wait, I gotta put. Um, I had to put stones on it though. Okay, I have a d6. I'm gonna roll it on here. Four. Um, so eight, nine, ten. Not quite 17. I have a two. I'm gonna take this. I just need one more to complete this. Um, I'll roll d6 on this, and it says 
Give plus two to any die already on a ruin. I'll go ahead and do that and give make this into a six, and then I'll do my excavation onto this one. It's a three. Um, so that's ten. Nope, just fifteen. Three. They will take this. Back to me. I will roll this d8 and hopefully get a much higher number. Of course, I get a one. Um, which I should have done the ancient map. Delver card, but I didn't. A one, so they end up taking this. Oh wait, I, I rolled a one, so I would have taken this, which is not great. <laughs> but um, I do get this wonder, and they will claim all this. They will claim this this card, and I will get one, two, three, four, five Delver cards. I believe that's how it works. I know that sounds kind of like crazy, but let me just double check actually. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so I don't want this. Let's see. I have all these silver cards. And let me just double check that. Do I actually claim um, blue wool? Yeah. yeah, you do just draw. Draw cards on the Delver deck equal to the number of dice they have on that ruin. That's it. Yep. Okay. So I have a bunch of them here. Let's see what I might be able to do. We roll all of your dice. Give the next die roll this turn. Uh, can't do any of those. This turn you may re-roll your excavation roll. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do the ancient map. I'll roll my d8. It's a seven. I'm gonna want it to be a lower number. And why did I choose a d8 if I wanted a lower number? I don't know. There I go, putting a seven. My strategy is all over the place here in this game. Okay, let's see. So they're only gonna put on this and they're gonna keep taking things. Take a great, great wonder. And then for me, I'll roll a d1. A d1, oh my gosh. A d4. And I will say... Um, we roll... Give the next die roll this turn plus one or minus one. I'll go ahead and do that. Three. I don't need to change it. But I will take this. And I won't be able to complete anything, but oh well. Um, and then they're going to roll and they're gonna definitely get this one <laughs> because it's the only one left and yeah I don't think Delver cards have anything to do with it but I'll take two because I had two dice on it and they will get this one which is minus four and let me see if there's any special rulings with how they they get that so it says whenever you draw the forlorn you must play immediately on highest while you die why is, what is the forlorn give one to anyone die oh interesting those are other variants. Okay, so stone placement. I already knew that they had to get named wonders from left to right, then greater wonders, then lesser wonders. Um, I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's just time to score. I don't see anything else. Hmm. I'm guessing this variant requires the Delver, the Lonely Delver, to score as I would. So we'll just do that. Anyway, let's just sort these cards a little bit. So we got three each of these. Two. Um, okay, so players reveal their Hidden Ruins card and score points for each set of matching Ruins cards they have as shown below. Players score an additional 5 for collecting a set of one of each color, which I didn't do. Players score points for their lesser greater. Players score an additional for building 3 or more wonders. I, I built 3, so you do get 5 points extra. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to write down the points here on a piece of paper. So for me, we'll score me first. I have 3-3, three, three, so that's 24 points, and then I get 5 points for having at least 3 wonders, and let's look at the points on this, so 4, 3, 1 point per yellow, 1, 2, 3, 4, is that every yellow stone I have? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 7 is 12. I'm totaling that. That's 9, 11, 41. My points. That sounds low. And then for them, they will get. 
seven, two, What is that supposed to be? Um, look at the ruins that were removed from the game and choose one to add to your hidden scoring. Oh, that's difficult. It sucks that they, they got that one. What does that mean? Um, I guess they'll just choose one that was removed. Now I'll just kind of grab the top one that is here. And they'll, that'll just be added, I guess. Okay, that's fine. So 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 7. It's going to be 10, 23 so far, just for those points. And then let's see what they've got with the ruins. They have a lot. Okay. I think that's sorted. So for the purple, they have 20 points. For the greens, they have 12. So that's 32. And... Minus 4 is 28, 30, 32, 34, and then 5 of the same color, uh, 1 of each. So 34 plus, yeah, I think they have 1 of each, so 5. So 34 plus 5 is 39, 39, I think that's where we're at. And then they did build... Uh, three more wonders, that's five. So yeah, that just was terrible. That's going to be 17, 50, 67 to my 41, if I, if I did that math right. <laughs> wow, okay. Anyway, I hope you like this playthrough. At least you got the gist of how it plays. I think it plays fairly quickly. I played within 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, I plan to do a playthrough with the uh, official solo variant that comes in the Lost Tribe. If you're interested in that, um, let me know in the comments below. And if I see significant interest, maybe I will uh, move that up in the timeline. Um, but yeah, I really like this game. It's very, very easy to pick up and, and there's a, a lot going on uh, with the dice rolling. You have to kind of place your tiles in a certain pattern to get the right uh, wonders that you want to get points. And yeah, very easy uh, fan-made variant, which is rolling one die for for the uh, the Lonely Delver. All right, so I will end my little playthrough here. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.